Scott Menzel, we live entertainment. Zach, great to see you again, my Good friend. Good to see you too. This movie is so much fun. Thanks. So much fun. Thanks. And I want to know for you, why does this character, why is this character so special? I mean, so many reasons. I, listen, I was, ever since I was four years old, all I ever really wanted to be was an entertainer. I wanted to, I wanted to bring people joy. I wanted to, I knew that I could intentionally, around four, I knew I could intentionally make somebody laugh. And I knew that a laughing, smiling person felt good. And that was like, I was it, I was hooked. I also simultaneously, ever since I, was, since I was a child, wanted to be a superhero. So there's a lot of bucket list things that I'm checking off with this. But the fact that I loved Tom Hanks and Big and Christopher Reeves and Superman, and I get to be both of those things in one character, that I get to tap into this Peter Pan in me that I've never really wanted to let go of, that I've this man child in me that um, never, I never thought someone would pay me to, to harness. Um, I get to go to work and have fun every day. I get to go and... Be, even if I'm having a dramatic moment in the movie, I still get to tap into a younger version of me. And that's the dreamiest, dude. I, I recommend it to everyone. When I see you on screen as this character, I mean, I go, you know, Chuck, whatever, American Underdog. Yeah. There's just something about this character that when I see you in it, like you can just see the joy oozing out of your soul. Yeah, you know, it's, like it's, it's just, it's just it's there. True, it's right there. <laughs> So I'm very curious. Um, I talked to David yesterday. He was telling me that uh, Helen Mirren wanted to do her own stunts. Did you do some of your own stunts oh, then yeah. too? Oh yeah, I do everything that I do, whether it was Chuck or Shazam or you know, well maybe not Tangled because that's animated. <laughs> but uh, you know, everything that I do, I insist if I can to do as many stunts as they'll let me do. I, you know, within reason, with it's where I'm not going to like you know. Uh, hurt myself and and insurance has to come in and now we're missing days of shooting because the lead character is laid up with a broken arm. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Um, but anything that I can do, well, for two reasons. One, you know, sometimes you you, you want to get a stunt, like there's a close-up, right? So like, you might, I might need to get hit and dragged across, across the floor and then I roll into a close-up. Well, the stunt guy, you're gonna have to cut before I roll over and you see my face. So I want that great shot, number one. But number two, you don't really get to do any of that stuff outside of being an actor. I mean, I don't know anybody who gets to like rappel down buildings other than actual CIA and people pretending to be CIA. You know what I mean? So like take advantage of all those. Those are all adventures to me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the family dynamic in this movie is really something that kind of shines both in the first one and this one. Um, I know you're you're big on family, yeah. and I'm sorry for all the stuff that has happened over the last couple of, you. couple of you know couple of months. Yeah, I know yeah. it's been really really hard for you. Um, what was it like for you to kind of create that family dynamic in these two movies? Uh, lovely, like like really really. Um, one of the coolest gifts about this movie was all of the people that all came together, that were all brought together to create this Shazamly. We had such a lovely time in the first movie. We had even more of a lovely time in this one because now we all knew each other. We had all been bonding over these, you know, four years or, you know, since the first one. And, uh, and they're all just, I just had dinner with everybody last night. I mean, just incredible souls. We all just vibe. We get together. We, I mean, I had, pool parties and barbecues and stuff over the summer as we were shooting in Atlanta and people would come over and we'd play bocce ball and we would just commune as a family. And that stuff's almost even more important than how well you're getting along on set. You know, that, that's the indicator. If everybody can get along off set, you're all going to have a fantastic time on set. And so uh, it meant a lot. And I really care about community. I, I, I've always felt very compelled to create community and foster community and protect that community. So I, I feel a lot of responsibility to that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Zach. Always yeah. a pleasure talking to you. Thank, thank you very much. Absolutely. Really appreciate it.